Here to help. There are more of them. They have my co-workers. They're... they're forcing them. Don't worry. I'll get to them before anything happens. Okay. Hurry! are set to detonate December 31st. I should be able to disarm them with my cryptographic sequencer. Oh no! You found my snowland bombs! <laughs> oh, you just couldn't wait till New Year's, huh? Oh, guess the fireworks are going off early! <laughs> getting 
doing this? Yeah, we're still live. This is Vicki Vale reporting live from the Gotham Royal Hotel, where there has just been a massive explosion. And now it appears the Batman has been blown from the building by the blast and is somehow hanging from the bottom of our helicopter. What's this? Several armed men have gathered on a balcony. Those men have guns. After years of on and off unconfirmed sightings with no recorded video, we've seen the Bat twice tonight and caught him on film. Could this be the turning of a new leaf for the mysterious vigilante? Is he about to become a public figure? One thing's for sure, after what I've seen him do tonight, he's on his way to becoming a household name. You saw it here tonight, the Batman on live television. This is Vicky Vale, signing off. We need more muscle! Psychopaths before, but this. Sir, I strongly suggest you call in Captain Gordon. He could be a valuable ally for you. I don't need any allies. I see the Joker's men eliminated. Good work. But remember, our primary objective is the bat. We must remain vigilant. He will not. Fortune is ours! And this is the... Uh, no! We can hope you're right, but only time to test your words. The bat is coming. Hey! Track any living creature. Where is he? I knew watching you fellas freak out would be good, but I had no idea it would be this good. <laughs> we kill his men and still he taunts us. We must stay strong. We must fight back. Nothing! 
See the Joker's men here. Eliminated. Good work. But remember, our primary objective is the bat. We must remain vigilant. He will not get past us. And this is the only way to the penthouse. We can hope you're right. But only time will test your words. The bat is constant. You know, Batman, I have a perfect little ambush set up for you. And these idiots went ahead and
Joker's men here have been eliminated. Good work. But remember, our primary objective is the bat. We must remain vigilant. He will not get past us. And this is the only way to the penthouse. We can hope you're right, but only time will test your words. The bat is coming. Ooh, so greedy. You're gonna have to kill all my men, space brains. There's plenty of bat to go around.
of you to drop in. <coughs> and just in time. Oh, he's my Piazzo. <laughs> Remember, you gave your word. You have one minute. Do they even have manners where he comes from? <laughs> you see, it's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about this one? Did you just take it? None! I think? That was just a little stocking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> <laughs> but this one isn't. moment. With your death, I will find peace. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I present to you the death of the Batman. That was unsatisfying. I see there is still some fight left. Yes. Now beat it out of him! Gordon is on his way, sir. You have to hold Bane off until he arrives. Before Christmas, it all through the house, not a creep. 
Rooftop's getting too hot. Trying to kill you! 
Those were two very, very bad men. Ooh, the things they've done. You really don't want to know. They deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Freeze! Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. Take him down! Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate. Where'd he go? Huh? Whew. The bat! The partner! <laughs> My partner? Who else would jump off a building to save your sorry ass? You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in the city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You of all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy, bitey little thunderbolts and wanted party crashes screaming for your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own emptiness. Oh. I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. Accepted. Oh, that's a little trite, isn't it? Look, I'm only doing this to help you. Let's try this again. Acceptance. <laughs> My favorite stage. Okay, one more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you want to know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil. Predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight, it's all changed. What's changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one boat. Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all everything leading up to who I met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yes. 
And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Sometimes I feel like I'm trapped on this path leading nowhere. Into just emptiness. Now you feel like you've got someone by your side. To share the journey with you. And how does that make you feel? I feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh. My name's Harleen. Harleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Harley? Oh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. <laughs>